What's up, YouTube? It's J-Man and me, the jokester. And uh, in this video, we're going to read another one of Jason's uh, Koopaling and Bowser Jr. show episodes. This is, of course, a series that Jason is writing based on the enemies from the Super Mario games. And <laughs> we're into Season 5. He's written hundreds of episodes uh, of this series and... Hopefully one day Nintendo will buy it and make it a reality. Uh, and that's a prequel series, by the way, about... <clears throat> it's about the Koopalings and Bowser Jr. before they were evil. And this is episode two of season five. Uh, and the title of this episode is uh, Chris is Back. Now, Chris is an evil baby that Jason... You created this character? Yeah, in, in a previous episode, Bowser goes to the grocery store and this these people show up and say, you have to babysit our baby. But Chris, the evil baby, that's not an existing Mario character, right? You made up Chris the baby? Right. <laughs> okay. So, uh, and the Kooblings are only, they're only about, what, 10 or, I mean, they all have differing ages, but, they, you know, it's they're not much older than Chris the baby, Right. So, uh, yeah, there's a previous episode where Chris the baby gets dropped off, and they're like, watch our baby. And then Chris the baby turns out to be nuts, totally insane, and forces them to murder and cook a bald eagle. So Chris is definitely not good. So in this episode, Chris is returned. <coughs> so episode two, season five, Chris is back. Uh, Bowser Jr. wakes up and eats uh, his Cooper Golden Flakes which are the, a, a cereal in Koopa Land. Uh, then he goes outside. Okay, what's on the schedule for today, Junior asks. A junior Troopa says, I'll tell you. Just then, a limousine pulls up. And Lakitu says, what's in the limousine? Uh, Chris's dad steps out of the limousine and says, says to Bowser Junior, I didn't know you idiots are friends with even more idiots. <laughs> Chris's dad is rude. He's evil just like... Chris's parents are just as evil as he is. Right? Okay. So. Who are you calling idiots, says Junior Troopa. Anyway, what's your name? <laughs> Chris's dad says, My name is Dad, and you're going to babysit Chris. Uh, we can go out and babysit Chris, Junior said. We can like we can go out, take him to a restaurant. We can do it together. That that would count. Blackity says, Right. Fair. <laughs> yeah, they, it's, that's the strange, you know, if a stranger showed up at our house and said, babysit my child, I would probably say no, and I'm an adult. You would certainly say no. You know, that's weird. But the Kooplings, I guess they just like to be, this is before they were evil. They're like, sure. <coughs> so Chris's parents leave in their limousine. And Junior turns to Junior Troopa. Bowser Junior turns to Junior Troopa and says, I need to tell you something. Chris is only four years old, but his parents don't know his true age. Junior Troopa says, well, why does he sound like a middle-aged man? And Chris says, let's go to a restaurant. He's, got, he's one of those babies. He sounds like Danny DeVito. Uh, they go to Wong's Chinese food. Lakitu says, oh, hey, I invited my brother Fishing Boo to this little lunch date. Chris says, yay, sarcastically, because he's a rude baby. <laughs> Junior says, all right, here we are at Wong. Junior says, here we are at Wong's Chinese restaurant. Lakitu sees Fishing Boo and says, oh, there's Fishing Boo. How's my brother doing, asks Fishing Boo. They let Fishing Boo and Lakitu hug. And Chris yells, hey, he's a ghost. <laughs> Fishing Boo's a ghost. <clears throat> they all go inside the restaurant. <laughs> this is, I think, this is the funniest part of the episode. Junior says, you know, the best part about this restaurant is you got to stand in line. <laughs> I can't tell. Is Junior being sarcastic or is he actually excited about standing in line? Huh. <laughs> Does, does Junior mean that? Is he? Does Junior like? Yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. I don't. I. I don't like standing in line for my food. I'll do it though if the food's good. Uh, 
So also at Wong's Chinese restaurant are Mauser, Triclide, and Claw Grip, three of the enemies from Super Mario Bros. 2. And Triclide sees uh, Junior and the Kooplings and says, we should just leave them alone, which is what he often says. <clears throat> Chris sees Mauser, Triclide, and Claw Grip, and he says, hey, who are these blokes? Because <laughs> apparently Chris was raised in England. <clears throat> And Junior tells him, that's Triclide, Mauser, and Claw Grip, but don't worry, they're pretty harmless. So they all go to their table, and Chris says, hey, this is actually kind of nice. Uh, the server comes up to the table. The mm -hmm. server is Cooper, who is the, he's the <laughs> character in Jason's stories who has all the, he has like a hundred jobs. He, he's everywhere. Um, Cooper says, so what would you like to eat? They all place their orders, <clears throat> and as they're placing their orders, Chris, or, uh, Junior points out, uh, Chris, you know, they don't have milk here, uh, but you can have some water. Why, you don't say, I am pure, brought milk with that. Well, first of all, uh, you know, I don't think that the Kooplings were, knew they were going to be babysitting Chris, so they didn't have any milk. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I mean, I get first, I don't know. I, you know, Jason, I've never been in a situation where I've had a baby and had to go to a Chinese restaurant. I would, I would assume wherever you take a baby, you probably got to take all your milk and your diapers and everything. I don't know. <clears throat> so, Junior says, uh, they don't have any milk. But you can have some water, Chris. Water is nothing to me, <laughs> says Chris. I want soda. <laughs> Junior says, okay, here you go. Have some Dr. Koopa. Uh, and Cooper comes back to the table and says, your food is ready. Our food is ready, Junior says. Now, Lakitu is on the phone with Chris's dad. And he says, can you hold on? <clears throat> Chris's dad asks, are you guys taking... Uh, good care of Chris. If you're not taking good care of him, uh, your brothers and sisters will die. Suddenly, Wendy appears and says, uh, one sister. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> that's a that's a running joke in these. I don't know if we've done the if we've read an episode uh, on the camera with this joke where somebody will say like, yeah, all your brothers and sisters, but there's only one sister. And so Wendy will say, oh, one sister, and they'll say, yeah, that's what I meant. <clears throat> Very clever. Uh, Lackadoo says, okay, we got to take care of Chris really well. So they finish eating, and uh, Junior pays the check, and he says, keep the change. <laughs> He's a, I guess Junior's doing well financially. Keep the change. we got to hurry back home, guys. Uh, they get in Junior's clown car and drive back to the house just as the limo pay, uh, comes returns. So Junior says, we're here, guys. Chris's dad gets out of the limo and says, you're back. Once again, you're not getting paid. You just have to be satisfied. <laughs> he says, once again, you're not getting paid. You just have to be satisfied with being grade A idiots. Come on, Chris, let's go home. <clears throat> Junior says, we did it. We freed my seven brothers and sisters. Uh, one sister, says Wendy. <laughs> the end. <laughs> It was pretty funny, pretty funny episode. Um, the, the I have it on a pretty good authority, Jason, that uh, you were nothing like Chris as a baby. That you were a sweet baby, and you didn't yell at anybody, and you didn't boss anybody around or complain about soda. <laughs> I understand you were very sweet, so that's good. Um, do you, I am a drink so. <laughs> you are drinking soda right now. Um, um <laughs> you are. Check out my beer. <laughs> you are. <laughs> my moose. <laughs> you are getting a moustache. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. You are getting a nice little moustache. Um, you are a man. We all love your uh, Koopling stories, and we hope you never stop writing them. And thanks once again for having me on the video. I appreciate it. Is there anything you'd like to say to the uh, people out there before we go? Ah. <laughs>
Bye. Bye bye, everybody. But it just won't listen to me. What do you know, you dumb broad? You got the IQ of a rattle. You valiant? Yeah. I want to talk to you about the acne murder. Hey, psst, Dal, why don't you run downstairs and get me a racing form? Oh! Okay, okay, I'm going.